Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Over the Moon for you, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The question is, are we actually going to see NASA's parents today? That's the biggest mystery. I mean, because, of course, this is part two of part one's last week episode. So, I mean, it would make the most sense to have his parents finally show up. I mean, I'm just saying. It would make the most sense. No. Because Chi loves her so freaking much. Of course. Okay, but how much of the percent of that is that could happen? I mean, 10, 5, 20 percent maybe? What's wrong? Oh, NASA. Wait! Hmm. No, no, it, it, no. Exactly. No matter what, your significant other will always want to be with you rather than waiting by themselves somewhere scary and not knowing where the fuck they are. Oh my god, Chi, just stop! <laughs> I just froze. Oh shit. <laughs> Apparently so. What did it say? Oh, Udon. That's an interesting conver I mean, <laughs> conversation. Combination. <laughs> I never would have tried something like that. I mean, hey. You know, whatever floats your boat, it might be good. Yeah. Huh? 
<laughs> See, that always happens. That's what I kind of hate about commercials in general because you go to a restaurant and you be like, hey, you, well, no, I don't do this, but I'll be like, um, this ain't right. I mean, okay, I mean, just try it. And then what most guys will think, oh, hey, no, you probably want sex, right? No! <laughs> uh huh? So cute. <laughs> you would think this guy right here in the background would at least call the police or, you know, mall security. <laughs> hey, Chi. No, not about that. I got some questions. Huh? Talk about it later. <laughs> so, yes, she, she's right about that. Not, not really why, did he, why did she marry him, but. She was about to say something about what she truly is or who she truly is. I, I mean. So, guys, is there something you want to share with the class, honey?
awesome. You're so sweet. God, I love you. No, why did she marry you? Yeah. Ah, yes, the story of Adam and Eve. You fell asleep. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, where you want to go? Ah, yes. See, my type of girl. Food. I like food, no matter what. Like, but these are, it is different bakeries and stuff. Their stuff might be completely different than some wherever you normally live. I'm just saying, shit. That's what I do when I go on vacation. Besides touristy stuff, that too. Some girls like modern day. Oh. But if you really want to go, we can go. Something tells me she used to always wear kimonos. I know you're pretty. I know. Oh. I mean, but it's not bad. At least they're not, like, I mean, making out 24-7. Because I know there are so What the hell? Yes, food. <sighs> yeah. <gasps> oh.
Oh god. Seriously, though? Like, I mean, duh. Huh. But it's true, though. I mean, okay, we know she is, like, hell in love with Casa. I mean, it's freaking obvious, but... Mm, good question. Mm-hmm. And what is he like about you? Um, where do you see each other in, uh... Where do you see yourselves, both of you, in, like, five years from now? Ten years from now? Do you want kids? Does he want kids? That's like, those are the big questions that, you know, you're asking any guy or girl, whoever, you know, you with. That's a good reason, babe. Oh, definitely, yes. So, you know, honestly, I like when someone does that. Like, you know, I mean, sometimes it's not really bad to have an itinerary and what you're going to do for the day. But then also sometimes it's just better to just be like, let's do whatever. Okay to be jealous. Oh, she. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you could have died right then and there, but... Really? You're right, though. Aww. In a way, I think you did. Just... You slowly but surely just chip that little wall. Little chip, chip things. Mm hmm. So excited! Even though I thought it was gonna happen this way, but no. I honestly really liked the date between him and she. I, I really still think she's a little hesitant of him, of course, because it, it, she kind of reminds me of certain families and really more of parents where they're like, okay, when specifically a guy or girl brings their significant other home and <laughs> they question it. <laughs> As I was saying, they question it because, like, I remember, um, it, it happened to me with my boyfriend last year, but it was mainly for, like, mm, not, like, the what are your intentions with dating my son or dating my daughter or whoever and such. It was more of the questions because me and him were almost very close to the same age, um, and such. So, of course, the questions that I'm going to ask and that my mom is going to ask or that my father is going to ask, and maybe if you are the, around the same age as me, um, when your parents meet your significant other, they're going to be asking the same questions of that. Not only with, like I said, what are your intentions with my son or daughter and stuff. It's like, what do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you two see each other in five years? What is your permanent home? Where is your permanent home? Would you want to stay here for the rest of your life and raise a family? Do you want a family? How many, if you do, how many kids do you want? Yada, yada, this, this, that, and the third. And so sometimes for some people, it is a little hesitant. Chi is really kind of the mother and the father of this, of this little small family knit of characters because since we really haven't met the mistress for um Sukasa and everything I she is like the next in line so she is that one who gets that say but like I said slowly but surely Nasa is chipping that wall she is slowly falling in love with him and accepting him it may not happen truly by the last episode but she is slowly saying like okay yeah maybe you are right for Sukasa, maybe you know both of you will change each other for the better. Maybe you might stay the same. Who knows? But the fact is that even with 
she making the jokes and saying like this is that and the third and how he was like you know there's so many scientists who who, who have uh, also been insulted by people but then in the end they're able to prove everyone wrong the fact that he is still here in this relationship with Sukasa is proving she wrong and uh, you know I'm happy for him he he's not you know it's so funny because it's only episode seven and I feel like this is a complete different character from what I saw in episode one because coming into episode one, I was kind of assuming he was going to be like, what's his face from Rent-A-Girlfriend. I mean, everybody, including myself, was saying that all on Twitter, all on, um, on YouTube, despite whatever, um, if you, whether you're doing an anime reaction review or just talking about it for a couple of minutes, and there were some people who ended up dropping this show, or me putting the damn show on hiatus, not because of the fact is of him and his simping and ish. It was me because of the fact is I was like, hey, I'm too fucking busy on Fridays. But some people strictly dropped this show, which was crazy to me because he was being so in love with her. And honestly, I love that because everybody deserves that ish yeah there are some people who are like nah i need you to stay the hell away from me that's a little too much it's the way affection of love is is different for each person and so there are some people who want that up in your face and then there are some who are like nah i want you to love me from afar and ish but it's still okay this was just a really cute adorable episode but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of over the moon for a year if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially next friday for episode 8 bye guys